Welcome to my channel. My name is Matthias. Today we're going to talk about X Factor issues 7 and 8, written by Louis Simonson, where the writer puts a lot of emphasis that the concept of the series is really dumb, that having mutants posing as mutant hunters, trying to capture mutants to put them in to safe places and try to teach them how to use their powers just doesn't work. It always leads to misunderstandings and possible situations where we can have a lot of collateral damage. Also, the writer has put some emphasis on the idea that the existence of X-Factor themselves has added to the anti-mutant hysteria and causing things to be even worse for mutants. So the story revolves around these two Morlocks who, for the love of God, I don't know how they're called because this edition is in Spanish. So one's called Heavy and Worm, but sometimes they change the names of characters uh, when they're translated into Spanish, so I'm not really sure. I do have a pretty big X-Men encyclopedia and I just couldn't find these two characters. But the thing is, they're pariahs within the Morlock community. They can't live with the Morlocks because their powers are radioactive in nature. So these two Morlocks attack X-Factor at their home base and the team sort of freaks out because they don't want them to blow their cover. So half the team goes out as the exterminators, this group of superhero mutants, and the other half of the team with some civilian members come out as X-Factor. So the exterminators simulate that they're trying to help the Morlocks take down X-Factor, but they're actually trying to take down the Morlocks without hurting them. So the exterminators are able to get the Morlocks back into the tunnels. They come clean. They tell them what they're trying to do with X-Factor. And it's really funny because the Morlocks are dumb as doorknobs. <laughs> they're really stupid. And they look at the members of X-Factor and tell them, it's like, that's a really bad idea. Like ever since X-Factor popped up, things have gotten a lot worse for mutants in general. And it's a great ending to this story. And to my surprise, I actually thought it was two issues. It's only one because issue eight, we have a really good battle with Freedom Force that I'm going to leave for another video. So I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.